Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. Go right here, you can get a green herb. And if you go back into this room... You grab this note that the chief left. <coughs> As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have my agent in confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he'd keep them separate, not confine them together as he has ordered been ordered. I don't expect that Louis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If for I don't think they let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all as more Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface, if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a product is already amongst us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment as always. Yeah. Lord Sadler. So apparently there's a guy by the name of Lord Sadler, and um, this is the village chief, obviously, if you haven't noticed. His name is Baitores Mendez. Baitores is actually a made-up name, specifically for this game. But if you notice, if you played Resident Evil 2, you might notice he looks like Mr. X, the tyrant. So it's kind of funny, the similarities. This must be a painting of that church. Oh, but Ashley's still okay. But yeah, he has very similar eyes to trench coat, everything, and going there. Holy crap, wow. Pardon me, sir. I didn't know you were trying to pee. But you still have to die. Looks like they use toilets. Guess they're at least somewhat civilized. Looks like the people in this house eat like normal humans. Go over here, you can knife this, you'll get an incinerary grenade, and over here you'll get um, some more cash. And as you can see, the cash that you've accumulated, you know, it does add up rather quickly, but, you know, it really does help. It's a painting of a lake. Maybe it's around here somewhere. There's a typewriter. If you check over here, you will notice there's a chicken egg. Grab it. There are three types. There are brown, white, regular white ones, and gold ones. The gold ones heal your health completely. Brown do much more. And white don't heal that much, so they're not useful. Um, if you go over here. Yeah, there's another Dr. Salvador. Be careful, because he does have bunnies. That is my favorite noise in this game. It sounds so funny. Alright, you know what? We haven't used our grenades, and we're kind of racking them up quick, but I'm saving them for a reason. Because you want to save, like, some of them. You don't want to not have grenades at certain points in this game. Let me just say from experience. It, this game can be a lot worse if you don't have grenades. As you can see, he's still alive because he's still in his, um, his chainsaw. I love that. 
And as you can see, you can trick him. You can't knife this guy to death, but you have to be really clever. Or you have to be really good. Let me just say, it is a little bit difficult to do. Have I done it? Yes, I have, but for this LP, I said I wouldn't. Um, if you... best way to do it is just to lure him like that, and just keep knifing him when he's on the ground. And eventually he will go down and die. Um, he always does give you a really nice amount of money. Careful, because these guys... And yeah, you know, once you hit one of them, it will alert others where you are. But pretty much, you don't have to worry. They're going to see you anyway, so you might as well just get rid of, like, you know, both, obviously. But make sure, like, you know where they're coming from. Because otherwise, they can sneak up behind you and they, you know, can hurt you. And that's another thing. If they hit you from behind, they stab Leon right in the back. They do a lot more damage. Or they'll do a little bit more. Ooh, TMP ammo. Un forastero! Careful. Knock this guy down. Knock this guy down. One reason why the Wii version is so much easier, while the regular, like if you're just using a regular controller, is because you literally can avoid, you can turn so much easier in terms of avoiding enemies. That's like one huge reason why this game is much easier with the Wii version. Holy crap, I don't know how I avoided that guy. Just knock him down. And yeah, they own, these guys have like a limited amount of like little scythes and pitchforks and, well not pitchforks, but like axes and stuff. It's unbelievable. Anyway, go through here. And then if you do this right, it's rather funny. I can get it right. Darn it! That wasn't how I want to do it. I'll try it one more time. <laughs> yes, that's what I was trying to do. I love doing that. You get them, you get one of them to go, Oh, oh, boy, father, I'm going to tear you to pieces. Grenade. And yeah, grenades help you a lot. They'll get rid of them really quickly. Flash grenades are best used when, um, like, you're cornered and you need to make a getaway. Because you can, remember, kick enemies as well. There's a lot of enemies. There. Um, if you do hear the music, like, the Ganada music, there's, like, different themes in this game. Usually some of them, if you've gotten rid of all the ones, like, on the ground, usually those ones that you hear are just, like, that one up there. And he won't come down after you, he'll just throw axes at you from his wherever he was. I like that right there. Da! Like, see, he'll throw an axe at you, but as long as you get out of the way. But... For the sake of just getting rid of him. Um, but if you come up to where he is, he will, like, you know, come after you. Holy crap, I... Well, I guess... I only needed one bullet to get rid of him. And sometimes you will get headshots, and other times you will have to, like, knock him down like crazy. There's another one right here. That's right, dude. I saw where you were. Kick! <laughs> um, you can jump down from buildings as well. Like, if you need to get away from them really quickly, you can do so. So, like, if they have you cornered, you can jump down from a building. You want to head over here to this building, and you'll see the symbol on the door. And that symbol's going to become very important as this game goes further on. Let's grab some handgun ammo. Um, break open every box, as I've said. Or barrel you see. Um, one other thing is if you look at your map, it will show you, this is something I haven't shown yet, but you see those X's, that's where a treasure is. And if you see the star in the corner there, it says that there's a treasure. Those are really important, and as you can see, I've gotten them. You want to try to get all these, um, like for example, there's one right there down the path we're going to be heading, so let's try to grab that. 
So yeah, I mean, that's, um, you have the map anyway, but in order to see where the treasure is, you have to buy it from the merchant. But if, like, you don't know where all of them are, it's worth doing. What you want to do is shoot this little torch thing. And you can use that against enemies as well. If you see them underneath it, shoot them. That's what the treasure was in Alcahendris. There are also these little treasures called Spinals. They're worth like 2,000 pesetas. They're not worth that much, but you get a lot of them in this game. So, and I don't know where every single one is, but there's quite a few, and they can get you a decent amount of money. But yeah, a lot of, um, there's a lot of in environment, use your environment to your advantage, I guess is the right word. You can use it to get rid of enemies. Something that might interest you. He is loaded! Got a selection of good things on sale, Strange. So, Stranger, any luck with the blue medallions? Remember, shoot ten or more to get your specialized gun. What are you buying? You do wanna. What, are you buying? what I recommend doing is, is buying a TMP. Maybe not this early, but maybe. You wanna buy it rather quickly. You. What are you, um, you can also sell stuff to him, you can sell him. I'm going to sell this fish because it's worth a lot. Um, you can sell them the treasures, as you can see. I love how he says that. But make sure you don't sell stuff like stuff that has like where it needs three pieces. Almost every item in this game, it requires you to put three of the pieces together to do so. Um, but yeah, I would buy a TMP. TMP is going to be very useful in this game, believe me, in terms of its use. Um, oh, I didn't buy the attachment with it. Yeah, that wasn't really smart, but oh well. Um, also, you want to keep your guns pretty much deranged, as well as like your grenades and stuff, just so that way, because you are going to run eventually out of room on your attache case, and you, know, you don't want to have to give up something good to fit something else in that you need. But... Like, right now, I have rifle ammo, even though I don't have a rifle, so I probably should should have sold that, but... Oh, well. Let's kill him. And that's another difference in this game, is how big your inventory can be. Like, you notice how we have three different guns right now? Yeah, and like the original, you probably only have room for like one or two, and that's it. Like the original couple games in this series, so... And that's another thing. This is so different. Capcom had a lot of different ideas for how they were going to make this game. They This like was being started even as early as 2000, but they kept going through changes. The creator of the series, Shinji Mikami, um, he kept going through so many different changes. He actually had one that had it more like Silent Hill-like, but Capcom said it wouldn't sell to the Resident Evil fans, and he created this version which introduced new, you know, fast-paced action survival horror. And just so people know, this game, you know, when it first came out, it was raved, and it still is considered one of the best games of all time. Like, easily one of the best of all time. Because it was just considered just a marvel when it first came out. It was just unbelievable how they were able to do what they did with this game. Lure him. Yeah, let him kill himself. Good job. But yeah, this game, when it first came out, it got like 10 out of 10. It was just considered incredible. Um, but before you hit, try to enter the church, you'll see this is the church right here. But you don't want to do so. It's locked anyway. But what you want to do is you want to go over here first, and you'll get this bonus cutscene. Leon. Have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah. Sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her. Hurry! <laughs> I really love the, the conversations in this game, like, over the walkie-talkie can be really funny. But before we go, oh yeah, like, right now, if you go back, you'll get this other cutscene as well. Well, you get this one anyway if you try to open this door won't open. There's a round hole. Maybe something fits here. You'll get this one. But you won't get the other one if you do this first. Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked. I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? Yeah. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. 
Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. I really love the how their conversations. They're so funny. Uh, well, yeah. Sort of. You won't get that cutscene if you do that one with him opening the door trying to first, so it's worth doing so. And yeah, it's when they have dynamite, if you're qu quick enough, there is a blue medallion right there. Um, you can avoid getting... You can use that to your advantage. Alright, here, what you want to do is you want to turn this dial three times with the three, and then three times with the four, three straight times with three, three straight times with four, and then once with three, and you will get the green cat's eye, which I haven't showed. The red. And, haha, yep, wouldn't you know what? They both fit inside that. There's three of each, as I said, different, like, gems that go inside those things, and they make them far more valuable to the merchant, so make sure you get them. Alright, we're on this little bridge. What you want to do is kick. And, to be honest, I would have rather knock those guys into the water. Lock her in as well. And that's another thing. The animation in this game is absolutely spectacular. They're I haven't mentioned yet, the graphics in this game are incredible. And this, I mean, it looks better on the Wii, obviously, than it does with, like, the GameCube. But the GameCube, when it came out, oh, wow, I mean, it got incredible. And the other thing is those cutscenes are done in real time. Like, you notice Leon's wearing exactly what he's wearing. In the PS2 one, it's different. But anyway. Closure of the church. Regarding our tool. The apprehension of Luis is a top party. The American agent of distant second. What Luis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl can become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan to the end. If it gets in the wrong hands, the world will become a totally different place than when the war had sat as an agent. At all costs, we must let that happen. Nevertheless, we're not letting go of the girl. To ensure that the agent is like Anyone who needs access to the for church must get first approval by Lord Sather. There is a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe. 